In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a moving screen inside of Adobe After Effects and Mocha. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe After Effects and we have this four second video of me holding this iPad and there's quite a bit of movement here. So the normal screen replacement technique of just dropping corner pin on and pinning the corners isn't going to work here because we need to track the movement. Also, as you can see in this video, I've put a green photo on the iPad screen and I've also got these crosses and these crosses are working as tracking markers and these are really going to help with the motion tracking. So if you are doing this effect, I would definitely recommend making sure that the screen is green so you can key this out and then you add these tracking markers in to help with the motion tracking. It's also really important that when you're doing this, by the way, that you don't have any reflections. As you can see later on throughout this recording, there was a part of this video where I had reflections on screen and that just unfortunately wouldn't work in this example. This isn't green, which means that isn't going to key out. And then this just messes up all of the motion tracking marks, those tracking points. So you really want to make sure that when you're filming this, you just have a nice clean, green surface and there's no reflections. You don't have to do this on an iPad, by the way, you could do this with a green piece of card or something similar, but just make sure there's no reflections and you've got clear tracking points. Now, the first part of this process is to track the footage. And instead of using After Effects to track the scene, we're actually going to use a program that comes installed with After Effects and that is Mocha or Mocha, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So Mocha AE or Mocha AE, you drop this onto your footage and then over here on the left side, you just press the Mocha button and that will load up the Mocha AE plugin. Now, this looks really complicated, but it's actually really simple. All you need to do is go up to here, select the pen tool, and then we're just going to create a point in the top left. We'll go down to the bottom left, go down to the bottom right, top right, and then we'll just left click once we're finished. And as you can see, we've got this rectangle around. Now feel free to just nudge that around. If the mask isn't quite perfect, then feel free to nudge that around. So I'm just gonna nudge this slightly outside. There we go. And now from here, I just want to go down to this button, which is track forward. And then Mocha is just gonna read the footage and it's just going to track that. So depending on the complexities of the shot, this might take a few minutes, this might take a few seconds, and it's also dependent on the performance of your computer. But give it the time that it needs, and then we'll come back and we'll get this into After Effects. Just before we carry on with this video, I'm going to take a quick break to talk about my Skillshare courses. If you're enjoying these YouTube videos, but you would prefer more long form content, then my Skillshare courses are perfect for you. I have a two hour plus course all about Adobe After Effects and it teaches you everything you need to know to get started and to get familiar with the interface and how After Effects works. So if you're interested and you want to learn more, then please feel free to check the link in the description below. Now back to the video. So once that is finished and we scrub through and just double check that that tracking data is correct, as you can see that is perfectly following the iPad, we can just exit out of Mocha and we can just put save. And then we'll go down into tracking data and we'll select create track data from layer one. And as you can see, this layer has now all of a sudden got all of these keyframes added in. So if we go into effects, Mocha, Mocha AE, tracking data, this is all of the tracking data. So now we just want to go ahead and add in a new video. So I'm just going to drop a new video into After Effects. And then I'm going to go into effects and presets and search for corner pin. There you go, that should be under distort. We'll drop that onto our new video footage. And then as you can see up here, we've got upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. So I'm just gonna go into effects, corner pin, and as you can see, you've got all of these layers. And then next to each one, you've got a pick whip tool. So we're gonna start with upper left, we'll drag this pick whip, and we'll drag this down here to top left. And as you can see, that has moved that over to here. Then we're going to go to upper right, we'll drag the pit whip down to top right. Lower left, we'll drag the pit whip down to bottom left and lower right, we'll drag down to bottom right. Now, as you can see, the track is absolutely perfect. The video is following the movement absolutely perfectly. However, though, it's not actually sticking to the edge of the iPad. So I would say the best thing here is to place video five under video three. So now you can see that's disappeared, but this is where we can actually key this out. So if we go into effects and presets again and search for key light, key light 1.2 should load up. We'll drop that onto this layer and then we'll go to screen color and select this green. 
Now we'll just go into status. And as you can see, that's not quite perfect. So a white color here is a perfect key. A black is perfect. And then gray is somewhere in between. It's a bit messy. So we want to try and get rid of all of that gray. So we're just going to go into screen balance and pull this around. So adjusting that gets rid of the gray on the screen, which is perfect. But now we've also got all of this other gray in the scene. So we're just going to adjust the screen balance. And then if that's not quite doing it, we'll go into screen matte and we'll adjust the clip black and the clip white. And that should do a perfect job. So as you can see, you've got your video now playing and that is on the iPad. But again, it's not quite filling the iPad. So we're just going to go into that layer below. We'll press S on the keyboard to load scale and we'll just increase the scale. It's the simplest way to get rid of that. And there you go, as you can see, that is perfectly stuck into the scene. So that is doing exactly what it needs to do. Now, if you wanted to make this even more seamless, then you could track an adjustment layer into the scene and add a glow onto that adjustment layer. That could look really cool. Or you could actually add some sort of distortion onto this, but it's completely up to you. So in this tutorial, we've tracked the scene. We've added the corner pin data from the motion tracking in Mocha onto the new layer. We've shrunk that down, keyed out the green from the iPad, and we've got this perfect result. Now, if for any reason your tracking points were still loading up on this green screen, so, so as you can see, if I turn key lights off, you can see we've got these tracking points. If for some reason they weren't keyed out and they were still there, then all you would need to do is just go into the pen tool and just draw a mask around that video. It doesn't need to be perfect and then you could just track that forwards. It's really important as well, by the way, when you do this, that you go into that mask so masks, mask one, and you select inverted, and that solves that problem. But of course, then you would just need to create a brand new keyframe on mask path and just track through and make sure that that mask doesn't fall out of the edges, because if it does, you end up with this problem. So just make sure that mask is moving, and then you should have a really awesome effect now complete inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.